Hey you guys, it's Megan and I am here to do an update on my Chi Lava Spin and Curl, which is like this magical hair curling device that curls my hair beautifully. And I've been using this over the past month and, or maybe more than that, I have been using this so much. And I did a first impressions on it and I have just had so, so, so many questions since posting that video and seeing like that my hair is curled and I've been using this as the only devi device that I curl my hair with. Um, so I wanted to do an update on this and tell you guys things that I've learned to make it not tangle, things that just make my hair last for like four days. Um, and of course it depends on your hair. My hair just seems to really hold the curl nicely with this um, curling wand. And then the most popular question that I have received is does this work on shoulder length hair? And as you can see, I have like my hair is basically to like my boobs. So I have longer hair than shoulder length hair and my mom has shoulder length hair. So I'm going to have her be a guest star in this video and I wanted her to try this anyhow, but I'm going to walk her through how to use it and kind of like how I would walk you guys through how to use it. So you can see for a beginner with shoulder length hair, how it turns out and all that stuff. So first I want to um, just show you guys some things I learned. I'm going to show you just a few pieces and then I'm going to do my whole hair and then just come back once I'm done. But I have learned just to use the like factory setting. So when you turn on the wand, it like starts to heat up and it heats up very, very quickly. Um, it only takes like about 30 seconds and the like setting that it goes to is 360 and I have never put it any higher than that. It works perfectly for me. So um, I just have this heating up and I use a like heat resistant little mat but this doesn't get really hot on the outside. So I just use that as a precaution, but it really doesn't get super, super hot on the outside because this is like a barrier. So you can't really burn yourself, which to me is a huge plus because I stopped curling my hair like cold turkey because I burn my hand and my neck and my ears and everything so much on different curling irons and curling wands. So this really, really protects you. It does get a little warm, but it's not like as hot as the barrel on the inside and definitely don't touch that. Um, and then it has two buttons that spin your hair one way or the other way. And so the way I like to do it is curl my hair back on both sides, but you can like interchange them. My other tip that I've learned is to use a heat protectant. So I really like the Bumble and Bumble Heat Shield Thermal Protection Mist because you can apply this to dry hair. And when you are using this device, you use it on dry hair. So I washed my hair last night and my hair is completely dry now. Um, but if you wanted to wash your hair and style it with this, you would have to dry your hair like in between that time. I just don't really like drying my hair with a hair dryer. I just get too hot and I don't like it. Um, so just make sure your hair is fully dry because this only works on dry hair. So apply a heat protectant and brush it through your hair and then also have a hairspray at the ready. And my favorite hairspray to use with this is the Bumble and Bumble Spray to Mode Flexible Hold Hairspray. And I think that this is one of the keys to keeping my hair last for four days. And of course, by the fourth day, it's like falling out. It's not like nearly as nice as it looks right off the bat. But this hairspray has memory <laughs> is what it says. And it truly does. Like it just like bounces back to the style even after you brush it. It's crazy. So I think this is a really big reason my hair lasts so well. Okay, now I have my hair like sectioned. So I just had it pulled up and basically I have it like half up, half down. And so you can start with 
like whatever section you want. I've learned that starting with like the bottom pieces, I think you guys taught me to do that, is like way easier because then you're not like crunching the curls on the top. So I'm gonna start down here. And my number one tip is to use a smaller piece than you think. Like this looks like a pretty small piece, but it can tend to get tangled especially when you like pull it out and you can see it's coming from like a bunch of different spots. Definitely just remove some of that hair and make sure it's coming from like kind of one section of your hair. See, it's not as spread out. And always brush through the piece before you curl it. And that might be like really obvious if you do your hair a lot but I like never ever curl my hair um and so this was something I had to learn so just take a piece that's smaller than you think that you'll need and they say about one inch but I really didn't know how much that was this is approximately how much is like a good piece that doesn't get tangled so then you take it and I like to, before I put it up to the hair, decide which way I'm curling it. So since this one I want to go like back, I want to use this arrow. So I just have to kind of mentally think about that. And then on the top there's like a little ridge in the middle barrel. And that is where you put the strand. So I just like to make sure I have the hair nice and secure and make sure you don't have any like extra hairs attached to it because that can get tangled. Put your finger on the direction you want to curl it and then you're gonna put the hair in that little ridge. And it takes some time to get used to it but you will get used to it. So, and you wanna put it as close to your root as possible and then just press the button. And you'll hear it spinning and then you can let go of the button and it is just like heating the hair and it will beep when the hair has been like set like curled and it only takes about 30 seconds and then you just pull it down gently and it has like magically curled your hair so that like those tips are what I would say are the most important take a very very like smaller than you would think piece make sure you brush it out and then um go as close to your root as possible but it won't go all the way to the top of your like scalp so that's something that I think with shoulder length hair it'll be interesting to see how much it curls because this even when I am using it it only curls the bottom of my hair um it's not like you get like ringlet ringlets all the way to the top of your hair it's more like straight and then curled so um when we try it on my mom you can see like how much it curls it um so I just keep doing this process all the way around my hair and um, I just kind of try to throw the hair that I've already done back behind my shoulder a little bit and then I just keep going 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 and it doesn't take very long I would say it takes usually less than 30 minutes to do my whole head of hair and I just work from like bottom to top and it just turns out really really nice so I'm going to do the rest of my hair and then I'll be back with my mom to show you how it works on shoulder length hair so if it gets tangled you just have to press the off button and like hold your hair at the root and carefully pull down your hair and normally it still just like curls your hair but just be careful if your hair does get tangled just hold your hair close to the root and then pull down the thing um and I haven't had any problems with it like pulling out my hair but that is definitely it happens from time to time like usually once every two times that I curl my hair one piece gets tangled so it's not very often after you get used to using it but it can happen but just don't panic and um just hold the root of your hair and then pull the device down and it should 
be fine. All right, I'm on my last piece, my front piece for the side that I like have my side bangs basically, even though this is just all the same length as my hair. Near the end, I was holding the top of my hair when I removed the wand. And I'll do that on this piece as well. I noticed that the curling wand kind of holds on to the pieces stronger the more I use it. Like at first it doesn't do that at all, but sometimes it has a little bit of like a grip on the piece. So I just hold it at the top of my hair even if it's not like tangled and pull it down if I notice any resistance to pulling it down. Like don't pull it down without kind of like holding your hair because if you just pull it down, you might have breakage. So I spray the sections as I go, section by section, but then at the end I spray everything again. Got my face a little bit there but then I like don't brush it out or anything. I wear it like this for the first day and then like throughout the day it will like fall a little bit but then like tomorrow it will be really nice more like casual um like beachy curls and so now I'm going to get my mom and we're gonna see how it works on shoulder length hair. I have my mom with me and she just has her hair like freshly washed mm -hmm. and did you just brush it out yeah i did okay so i'll just brush it out a little more but you can see shoulder length <laughs> <laughs> so now we it will is. know for sure um so we are going to take it so it's already preheated because it's already on my hair so you're gonna like when you hold it have your finger like on that button okay So then what do I do? So, okay. So you need this towards your head. Okay. Okay, so. I don't know what I'm doing. I know, don't look at it like that because that's the hot part. So you basically want to hold it, like look mostly in the mirror. And not like that, not like that. Okay. I should have paid attention better. So basically you want to hold it like, like Side this, ways. like vertical to your hair. Okay. And so looking in the mirror, I think, makes it the easiest. And just make sure this is always towards your head. I don't know where I'm going with this, though. So, okay. So you're going to do it like this. And you're going to put it, like, around here. Like this? Mm-hmm. Okay, wait. Yep, that's what you're going to do. Yep. And then what? And then you press this button. You didn't press I it. don't know where the button is. <laughs> That's why I said to have your finger on it. I was okay. afraid of the so button. So hold it like this. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? This one. First button. Yeah. And then like this. Okay, wait. <laughs> this is like harder than Okay, that. so you always want it like this. Oh my god. I have a hard time with spatial things. <laughs> yeah, you do. Okay, so here, I'll hold it. And so you just come up, turn it. Okay, now press it. Is it like not on? <laughs> it must have gotten turned off somehow. Great. <laughs> right as you almost have it. Okay, it's just heating up. <laughs> We're trying. Okay. So try to hold it again. And where's the button? This is the button. Okay, thank you. So you're gonna... Oh my god, this is awkward. Okay. Now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to hold it until it stops spinning. Okay, so then you keep holding it until it beats. Okay. And it didn't tangle. Nope. <laughs> and it didn't eat my head like the Cabbage Patch doll. <laughs> PTSD. <laughs> okay, so now you just pull it down. Ooh, <gasps> mm -hmm. That's pretty. Yeah. Okay. So th there is a learning curve. Like if you yeah. watch my first impressions, it tangled in my hair a lot too. But like now we know for sure it does curl mm -hmm. like shorter hair. Yeah. But of course it's not gonna curl all the way to the top. Yeah. Like, like even yours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like mostly straight and then it curls. Mm -hmm. 
can we do some more? Well, yeah, <laughs> but now we know for a fact it curls shorter shoulder length hair. Yes, it, it worked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we just need to practice a little more. <laughs> We'll do it like off. Yeah, camera. yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'll help you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Good luck. Keep trying. And if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll try to help you. But now we know it works on shoulder length hair. It works on longer hair. Mm -hmm. We don't know about super long hair or anything, but at least these two lengths of hair, it works. Yeah, so. Definitely. And it's so pretty. <laughs> okay, we're going to finish up, Mom, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.